Hey everybody, it's Marilyn, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about a new fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. We have a flanker called D&G The One Gold. So first of all, I want to say that the original The One EDP is one of my most favorite scents in my collection. I also really enjoy the EDT version, which I happen to have here. Uh, I've only been wearing this for like a few months and I put a huge, huge dent in it already. It's just a nice vanilla, sweet, floral perfume that uh, just makes me feel very elegant and put together. I also have the Desire version in the black bottle, um, which is also a scent that I really enjoy. But anyways, today we'll be talking about the the One Gold, their new flanker. The top notes in this one are plum, pink pepper, and Italian mandarin. The mid notes are rose, jasmine, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are patchouli, vanilla, and white musk. So what do I think about this new version of the One, the One Gold? have it on my skin here and then I have the opening here so hmm I'll say that this fragrance to me just comes off as a mature womanly scent uh, you know men can wear this of course as well but my mind is giving me this idea of this very mature responsible successful uh, woman and um, there's this beautiful sweetness in here. I will say that the sweetness in this one is a lot less sweet than it is in the other versions of the one. In D&G The One Gold, the emphasis here for me is are the, flo the floral notes, sorry. <laughs> so the floral notes in here just come off very rich, thick, and creamy. For me, it's... It smells like a grown-up vanilla floral perfume. So along with these rich full-bodied floral notes, I also pick up on a fruity sweetness in here. Uh, the notes say that it's plum, but for me the fruitiness reminds me of a mix of different tropical fruits. I also pick up on some sweetness coming from floral notes as well and um, those two together just come together into this very nice deep rich dark full thick and creamy floral vanilla scent so as this fragrance dries down the patchouli the, the patchouli note in here is more noticeable it's not very overwhelming, but it does give a lot of weight to this fragrance. I will say that for me, this fragrance does come off very heavy and, and thick. I guess if you overspray, it might even come off a little bit cloying. Uh, so I would be careful with the sprays with this one. But as I said, I do start smelling the patchouli in here, uh, but it's not overwhelming. It's not... It doesn't choke me out or anything like that. I also smell some musk in here. Again, it's not overwhelming. It just adds a nice little um, cozy, warm feeling to the scent. And all in all, I'll say that D&G The One Gold for me is a warm, cozy, very rich, and full-bodied sweet floral scent with a very heavy feeling and dense feeling fruitiness that to me smells like a mixture of tropical fruits and I do find it to be very classy and very elegant um, it smells expensive and for me I'll say that I like the scent. Uh, I don't love the scent. Uh, the dry down for me does feel heavy and a lot of times I don't mind that but in this one for me it was just a little bit too heavy <laughs> and I guess it just depends on your mood if you know if you want something so uh, rich and dense and thick um, but 
yeah, for me, it just felt heavy and warm. And um, yeah, I guess it's just depending on my mood because right now I'm not really in the mood for that. Uh, but it is a nice scent. But comparing it to the other, uh, the one perfumes, uh, I would say this is probably my least favorite. Then again, I've had the least amount of time testing this one on skin. So, you know, this is just basically like a first impressions. Uh, but it is a nice scent. Um, but if I had all of my D&G The One perfumes lined up, uh, would I reach for this one? Uh, probably not. I would probably first reach for the original EDP and then of course the EDT here, which is phenomenal. But yeah, it's worth a try, especially if you like the other uh, perfumes from this collection. Um, the, similar the similarities for me are that they are sweet, floral, very rich and creamy scents, uh, very uh, intoxicating and alluring and beautiful. But uh, for me, this is just a bit too much for me in the dry down. Uh, I do prefer the other ones, as I said. So anyways, that was my quick uh, review, my quick thoughts on D&G The One Gold. I would love to hear what you think of this scent in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.